Hi everyone, I am David Levy, editor of JewishBoston.com. I am here with my pal. Hi, I'm Liz Pillay-Wettengel, community manager for JewishBoston.com. Last week, we posted this blog post that I called the easiest hamantaschen recipe on the internet. And Liz challenged me. I did. I think that it could be easier. I think that you could make it in an office kitchen. So we were thinking, what are the bare minimum number of ingredients you need for a hamantaschen? And can we do something that you can make in a toaster oven so that even a college student could do it in their dorm room? So we are here with the two ingredient hamantaschen recipe. <laughs> We've got Pillsbury pie crust, which by the way are not hectored kosher, um, but if kosher is something that's important to you, there are, I'm sure, other kosher pie crusts available. And um, poppy seed filling, although if you're in a dorm and you don't have access to a supermarket where you can get this, um, a Hershey bar would do just fine if you want to make chocolate Or some ocean. apricot jam, or strawberry jam, or raspberry jam would work as well. Whatever you want to put in the middle, we don't judge. I okay, so pie crust, when you get it at the supermarket, all made like so, um, comes rolled up in a little tube of pie. So step one is that you got to unroll the tube. Now, if you want to be all fancy, if you can get a rolling pin and make it flatter and wider and get more hamantaschen out of it, we are not fancy. Step two is we need to cut little circles out of this. Um, I think the bigger side. Yeah. Because uh, before a hamantaschen is triangular, it starts as a circle. You may not know that. Step three, while Liz is doing that, is to open up the poppy seed filling. Now again, if you are using a Hershey bar, this is when you would unwrap the Hershey bar. All right, let's take one just as an example. Liz, would you like to demonstrate? So the trick for hamantaschen is to make sure you don't overfill it, and then you fold the sides up to make a triangle, and I recommend if you wet your finger with a little water and rub that along the sides, that'll help make the dough stick. So now let's fold it into a triangle. Pinch it together a little bit. And that is a pre-baked hamantaschen. And let's stick it on our baking tray. We have been preheating our toaster oven to 450. That's just what it said in the pie crust. We hope that's right. We're going to put this one in. And... Mmm, don't they look good? I am very excited about this. Yes. Let's, let's get ready? them onto plates and into my mouth. Well, let's pull this out. So it's been on 450, 10 to 12 minutes. As per the instructions, on the pie crust. Don't those look yummy? So if you're like me and never had a spatula in your kitchen when you were in college, paper plates will do. So these might still be a little too hot, but we're really impatient because they smell really good. Yeah, I've been blowing on mine, so we're gonna try it anyway. You ready? All right, let's go. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> so because it's pie crust instead of cookie dough, they're a little bit soft, but they're not like the traditional soft dough hamantaschen because it's not a yeasty dough. But it tastes good, and the truth is that hamantaschen are all about the filling anyway. Right, so you know, this might be a little bit of a slacker hamantaschen, but it still works. Thanks for coming to JewishBoston.com. Make sure you check out our Purim guide for lots more information about hamantaschen and everything else you need to know to celebrate Purim. JewishBoston.com slash Purim. Bye.